All right, guys. So I um, wanted to make a little video on uh, an offer that I'm doing. And this really is um, a non-profit sales pitch because I'm not going to make any money off of this. Um, but I, I do like um, experience. Experience really uh, helps you with your craft. The more experience you have, the better you get. Um, and uh, I was blessed with that machine. You, if you've seen the video, the Skyving machine, which just, Skyving is one of the most difficult things at first, once you get the hand of it. I mean, I can hand skive pretty well now. I'm not a master at it, but I don't have barely any difficulty with it anymore. Uh, but a machine's just quick, and I want that you know good, quick turnaround rate uh, without um, losing any quality of the rebind itself. So that's why uh, I was blessed with that machine by my father-in-law. And um, that's just a blessing. So, um, but what I'm doing is uh, a guy w got in contact with me, and actually he already sent his Bible to me. It's on its way. It'll be here any day. He wanted a pit minion done, uh, leather lined, because they're all paced down. So it's a very popular Bible, very nice Bible. I particularly don't like the pit minion. Um, I did like it in the King James version when it was verse by verse, but now it's a paragraph format. But a lot of people love the the pit minion and they would love to see it edge line so i'm doing an offer i have a bunch of harmington goat skin which i don't have in front of me um uh there, there's another video or maybe i could do another video in the future in the future um after i do his pit minion what it looks like but it's a very very high quality leather very expensive leather i think i paid like 122 dollars plus shipping for just like four square feet i think it's four to four and a half five square feet something like that so it's a very high quality leather but it doesn't make it it doesn't for me personally it doesn't make for a, a nice <clears throat> cover but it makes uh, for a very beautiful liner so i was like i got an idea since i'm not going to be using that leather for covers and I could see where the Harmonton would actually harmonize with the cover of a pit minion and give it a little bit of a contrast, but also it's a very thin leather. It's made mainly for like hardback uh, books. Uh, so book binders that use like, you know, you're making a hardback a text, uh, hardback uh, hardcover book. That's what really what it's made for. And I didn't know that until after I bought it. So, uh, but it works great as a liner. So, uh, I'm making an offer now where I'm doing $50. Uh, you pay the shipping to me, uh, the $50 that you send, or however you, you want to do that, pay, however the payment you know option, however you want to do that, that's fine. Um, however you want to do that, I will pay the shipping back because it'll be like $5 priority shipping. But that way you can get an edge-lined Bible uh, in a pit minion format, which will be just amazing. So, um, with all that being said, uh, I was like, well, I better get a little bit of practice in. So I took a Derby Bible that was a paste down. It's a Royal Youngblood product. And, uh, this is another issue that I want to talk about and I'll close it up really quick. Um, but before I get to that issue, I want to show you a little bit of the work I've done to this so far. Um, it only had this one tool line, which I need to read, which was, it's very, it's not very noticeable, but it's not bad. It's really, they did really good on the corners. But on the, the line, some of it's kind of, I'll probably enhance those. But I did this extra tool line. That's where uh, this text block ends in the cover. So it lines up with that. And uh, so I did that all, all the way around um, this cover. And I also scraped down. Uh, now, this is not pretty. When you're in Bible rebinding, nothing's pretty until it's done. It's That's the innards. This ain't the, the final product by no means. Uh, I still have to cut out the leather liner, which I'm about to do here in a few minutes after I'm done with this video. But I was able to put uh, duck cloth in here to uh, give it some substance because now it's very flexible, the edge line feel of a Bible. But I didn't want it so floppy that it just drew, you know, drapes over and it has no substance to it, if that makes sense. So i um, working on that, and I'm putting a leather liner in here, and I'll do a video of that Um uh, there's a one Bible I did a I did a rebind on a, I think it was an NASB 77, and I was like you know showing you guys that some of the processes I'd review it totally forgot to review it it was already out the door but I'll I'll try to remember to review this one because this is just my own Bible that I'm <clears throat> uh, experimenting on 
and I think it's going to turn out uh, pretty nice, and uh, if not really good, uh, Lord willing. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. So if you if you do have a pit minion, um, and you want to edge line, fifty dollars, and I'll edge line it for you. I'm not making a profit off of that. I just want it for the. I want to do it for the experience, and all I'm pretty much doing is paying off the 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 leather that I paid for that I'm not going to use for covers. That, to be completely honest with you, because I could probably make six to ten pit minions. So there might be a little bit of a profit there, which would just go right back in the leather that I need. And that's some Sokoto goat skin. I need to get some of that. And I have some on the way as well, but I need to get more of that. And there's a few other things I do need to purchase. So it's going right back into the book binding. I wouldn't make no profit for myself to put in my pocket, um, <clears throat> um, which would be nice someday, you know, in the soon future. I'm sure that will happen. But right now I'm trying to build up a ministry. Another thing that I noticed, and then I'll close this down. Um, I, this is a Royal Youngblood product. This is the Darby Bible. I think this is where the new Traveris from Skylar got their idea of how they, they're doing their text. But, of course, theirs is different. I think the new Traveris is a single column, or this is a double column. But the verse numbering is on the side, but actually the verse starts where the word and is. Okay, so But that way you can read it like a reader's, but still have a verse-by-verse -verse setting. But uh, this is a, a very nice Bible, very, very nice Bible. And at one point, it was very inexpensive. It was like $70 for this beautiful goatskin Bible. Now I think they're like 90 to 100-something. Um, it's done by Kingdom Bible Trust, but it's bound by uh, Royal Youngblood, imprinted by Royal Youngblood. So um, really, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I was really surprised. It doesn't, doesn't, it didn't come with an Oxford tubing which really surprised me because that would make the Bible last a lot longer. And it didn't have what's called a super, which is like this mesh. I'll show you a little bit here. Uh, you can see I've cut plenty of pieces off of this. I need to get some more. Um, uh, anyways, this this is something that wraps around part of uh, the text block in the back to reinforce the spine. So, yeah, it's stitched. Yeah, it has a, a, an application of glue. But what the super does is it reinforces the spine and then uh, that allows the signatures to stay intact. A lot of people have problems with Bibles falling apart because the signatures come loose and the pages start falling out. The super will help with that. I also put another reinforcement on most of my Bibles of cloth over the super. And then I use another technique uh, that I'm not going to say because I'm, I don't want to ruin it for uh, the man that taught me and and there's some reasons behind that another way that i reinforce the bible to make it uh pretty much in a sense but oxford tubings mesh and then cloth and so it's like quadruple reinforcement on the spine so that that bible should last easily a lifetime uh the bibles that i do but i was really surprised that young blood didn't do that on here i mean no super no uh, nothing i mean this is what it looked like when it came off I'm not worried about that. I'm fixing that. And just kind of disappointing because uh, it's such a nice goat skin they used. And the cover is very nice. And the paste down was done. If you see my review of this Bible, it was done very well. But if I was to have used this a lot more than I have, I have a feeling this thing would have started splitting. So that's just a, a warning to... Look, at, look for the Oxford tubing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google Oxford Hollow book binding. Just Google that and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. And that really makes a big difference on Bibles. But anyways, guys, $50 for Pit Minion. If you have a Pit Minion and you want it edge lined, $50 I'll do it for you. And that would just what I'm doing it for is the experience. The more experience I have, the better I get at things. And that's why I'm doing it. So to be a blessing to you, blesses me, helps me learn, helps me get better at my art. And uh, I'd really appreciate it. So if you guys want that done, let me know. If not, it's not a huge deal. Like I said, I'm in it for the experience, not for any profit of myself, for myself. <laughs> any money that do is profitable from that will go just towards buying more leather for more rebinds. So I guess that's it, guys. Till next time. Good day. God bless.